Hello, welcome to another um, aircraft model unboxing. Uh, today we come to you with Etihad Airways Airbus A321 to 1200 scale uh, Phoenix model unboxing. Uh, today I'll be unboxing this model and giving a review about it and also uh, show more details about this model and hopefully why you should get this model as well. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, describing the box and it's uh, what is outside and the information given from outside. So we'll start at the top of the box. We have the Airbus A321 logo. Uh, if we move down we have the computerized graphic of the Etihad Airways model along with the eagle and the beige gold background of the box. The box is glossy itself as well. And if we come down a bit to the box at uh, the bottom of the front, we have the Etihad Airways logo as well as registration A6AEA and the 1 to 400 scale Platinum series. We also have the UAE striped colours at the top and bottom of the box as well. Uh, moving on to the side of the box, we have the Airbus A321 logo. Uh, we have the Phoenix logo and the computerized graphic of the Etihad Airways model along with the thick UAE stripe colors. Turning to the side of the box, we have similarly um, a Phoenix uh, logo, Etihad Airways logo and uh, registration A6AEA with the UAE striped colors. Turning, we also have another one of the computerized graphic, the Airbus A321 logo and the Phoenix logo with the UAE striped colors on there. And pretty much just replicates for each side of the box, um, two on each. Um, turning to the other side of the box, we also have another Etihad Airways registration A6, AEA, the Phoenix logo, and the UAE striped colours with the beige and gold background. So turning to the back of the box, we have um, a limited edition. We have the UAE striped colours on the bottom and top. We have the Etihad uh, Airways logo, and this time in a bigger... Uh, bigger size and we have the 2014 Formula 1 Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix logo, we have the Heart of Aviation, the barcode, the Phoenix logo, a warning symbol and uh, not suitable for children under 14 years um, since this model contains many small parts and components and this order is made in China as well. I like the striped colours um, of this model um, of the UAE flag on the box uh, it does um, make people uh, really think about um, the airline and uh, where it comes from and in this case you can see the striped colors of the UAE and indicating that uh, the model that they've received is from this particular country and in this case Etihad is from Abu Dhabi in the UAE and so the four colors of the UAE flag are there. So moving on to the unboxing of the video uh, unboxing part, uh, we have uh, got to unbox the plane and put the plane down onto the tarmac that I printed out. The box is easily openable, um, it's just a normal flap and I like how you get the red and black um, flap sides which match in with the box. Uh, it's pretty simple to get out, very self-explanatory. Uh, now we come to the unboxing of the box, we're just going to have a quick sneak peek at it um, from outside. The model is very contrasting. Um, it has different colours on it, especially the beige, the light beige, and the fuse large, and the Etihad Airways gold logo, uh, which uh, is really stunning to see. And we also have the UAE stripe flags like we saw on the box on the tail of the aircraft, which I will get into detail a bit more into the video. Um, to open it, it's very simple um, and self-explanatory again. You have two flaps that need to be just pulled out of each other. Um, uh, Originally, it was hard to get open, but the more times you've opened it, um, the less uh, harder it'll be, the more easier it'll be to open the uh, flap. As you can see, I only had to put my thumb in once and just pull the flap box out. Um, and you just take the plastic top out. Um, immediately, we saw everything of the plane. Um, the small decals in various places really stunned me for such a small model. The model itself uh, did stun me in size, as I thought it would be bigger, but... Um, since this is a small aircraft in general, and, and for a small size, one to 400 scale, it is a relatively small model. I didn't realize this, but 
um, I really appreciate the small details in such a small model. Uh, here is a quick uh, top view of the plane. You can uh, see the SD card logo and um, a lot of wing decals there as well. I'm taking it out of the box and you can see I'm comparing it to my hand. It is a relatively small model. Um, it is actually very heavy though. It is made from metal, um, therefore it is heavy. I'm going to place it on the ground here on my tarmac. Um, and you can have a look at it again outside the box. Um, you can just see how stunning it is to see it on the model. Uh, yeah, you can see the model from here. You can see the antennas, uh, the co uh, cockpit windows, the engines. You can um, see the fuselage and the wings. Um, they're very, very nice. Uh, here we have the model. We're going to go into detail with it now. So if you start off with the flight deck windows, we can see they're grey and they're also outlined in black. Um, yeah, we have that. Uh, we also have the first antennae, which is located above the first door. We have, yep, it's just placed on top of the first door. It is small, but I appreciate that the detail has been added in. Uh, we have the first door, which is not used for boarding. It tends to be the other, other side that is used for boarding. Uh, we have the Etihad Airways uh, Arabic logo in uh, in gold, outlined in black, which makes it stand out. <coughs> we have some windows across uh, the plane, and we also have um, a gold and red stripe that follows throughout the aircraft as well, and it starts off with the nose section. We have the landing gear, and it's incredible to see how much detail is being put into the landing gear. And um, for such a small model, it really does make it look realistic. And for multiple airports and various aspects of the plane, um, for accessories and plane models and airports, this plane will really fit in and look absolutely real. So I highly recommend this. We have the first cargo door, which you can vaguely see, that uh, grey line just above the two coloured lines. Um, which is indicating the top part of the cargo thing. Uh, moving on to the middle of the plane, we're on the second door, which is also not used for boarding since it's on the other side of the plane. Um, we have the Etihad Airways logo. Um, it's very stand. It very stands out really well. It's gold outlined in black. Uh, very beautiful. Um, just like the Emirates font, not the Emirates font, the Emirates colors. Uh, we have some windows in the middle. We also have a red. A red uh, light on the top of the aircraft, as um, pointing just there. <clears throat> we also have uh, we can see a sneak peek of the wing decals there as well. You can see it's grey, outlined in black. You can see their small engine details, which I appreciate that I put on for such a small model. It's beautiful um, and really realistic. Uh, we also have the continuation of the gold and red outlines uh, on the model. We also have our third door, and this door is also not used for boarding, um, just as it is it's on the other side of the plane. Moving on, we have uh, the third door, which I also just introduced um, just previously. Uh, we have uh, some more windows uh, here. The H321 is three cabins, three small cabins. Um, we have our th third antennae, and we have our fourth antennae. And if you can see um, just below the aircraft, we have the fourth antennae um, there as well. And it really makes this model stand out and realistic. It's one of the things that makes it a realistic model, really. Uh, we have the continuation of the gold and red lines, which come to a point or a round point at the back of the aircraft. We have a registration outline in black, A6AEA. And we also have our last uh, final exit on this side of the plane, which is the door. We have the 2014 Formula One Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix logo. And we're going to move on to the tail of the aircraft now. We have uh, the red, green, white and black Etihad Airways stripes on the pattern on the tail of the aircraft as we saw on the box of the aircraft um, which looks really cool. We have the Golden Eagle which is uh, a gold eagle on the plane and for those who have not noticed this is Etihad's old livery for their aircrafts. Most of their fleet have new 
have the new livery um although some still contain this old livery and personally this is my favorite livery out of the two we have the apu at the back of the plane as well um in gray as well dark gray um yeah now we're going to turn on and i did not get onto this but the wheels do move um another realistic point on this uh, model is that the wheels do move um which is a bonus the hole in the middle of the fuselage is purposely just for a stand which i did not get because i don't think it was needed here is another view of the plane as you can see the plane here is very uh it's very it stands out um it's it's a really beautiful plane i like how the fuselage colors in a beige color which it looks makes it look very beautiful uh you can see the front view of the plane you could see how detailed um the landing gears are um especially the silver center for such a small model we have a view of the engine um, as well, the antennas, uh, everything about the plane is really cool. I like to go onto the wing details, um, the wing is very beautiful. The wing has a grey gray, um, centre and it uh, has a black outline on the here, black decal and applies to the elevator as well. Except from there is, <coughs> there is no grey on the elevator. Um, there is a small uh, hitch with this. Um, a small problem that could be um, solved maybe in the future, I don't know. If you could see on the tail uh, previously in the video, there was, um, it lo it looked like it had been stuck stuck on. It, was, it didn't look realistic how it was stuck on. The tail was awesome, but it's just how it was placed and its position. It looks a little bit wonky, um, but it is, it is expected on um, this such a small model. It, it can happen anytime. If you could see the wing, how it was stuck on the wing, how the wing was stuck on you could see that was it was a better job done that was because it was a bigger component of the aircraft itself so that was really fun um really fun time unboxing this model i'd like to thank my parents for getting this model for my birthday um i really appreciate it this is a really nice model one of my favorites um yeah uh you can see the engine again and here's another view of the model um about from a better view you can see everything together, everything in place, um, lined up in the tarmac. This is an Aberdeen International Airport tarmac uh, that I've used um, for the uh, for the unboxing of this model. Uh, you can see the sharklets, the wingtips um, are beautiful as well. They're big and they're bold. Um, they're the same color as the normal wing. Uh, there's nothing on it. Surprisingly, I thought there would be like a different color of a Etihad logo maybe on it but as you can see very closely there is uh, some light so here is a quick preview of the model itself thanks for watching and bye <laughs>